Folks, you know, little Surrey Cruz was just seven months old when her parents, Tom Cruz and Katie Holmes, got married in Italy. And remember this, it was the very first time that we saw Surrey. It was on the cover of Vanity Fair with her proud parents. I always loved that picture. And now she's six years old. She's stuck in the middle of their divorce. So how are her famous parents going to handle this difficult time? Katie Holmes is official divorce filing may give us a clue. I want to bring in family law attorney Vicki Ziegler to try to sort through some of these details. Vicki, good to see you again. And uh, Vicki, they talked a little bit about custody. And, and you know, there are these issues of, does, is it sole custody? Is it residential custody? Tell us a little bit about that and what might happen here. Sure, Ryan. I mean, if Katie Holmes is really looking to gain sole custody of Sori Cruz, this is a big deal because she's really asking the court to ensure that she's going to be the physical custodian of this child on a day-to-day -day basis, that she's going to have sole decision-making power over the health, welfare, and education of Sori, and all Tom Cruise is going to get is parenting time, or sometimes also known as visitation. What if they so have the a prenup? Let me ask you this. What if they have a prenup that says one parent or the other gets sole custody? Well, usually in a prenup, although she um, got married after she was pregnant, um, usually doesn't talk about that. So usually it's left out. Uh, custody issues and child support usually are not placed in a prenuptial agreement. If it is, she can try to set it aside, but she's really got to have strong evidence. She's got to be able to tell this court, listen, Tom Cruise, if there's an allegation that he's either unfit, there's an issue regarding Scientology, which he is so outlandish, it's not in the best interest of the child to be raised in this type of religious atmosphere that she wants to have sole control over the child. And that's going to be up for a, a judge's decision. And that's not that's a really tough one for a judge to make. Vicky, it's Aisha here. You mentioned the issue of prenups and uh, in relation to custody of the child. But what about more broadly speaking in terms of division of assets? Uh, obviously, we don't know the finer details of, of the agreement. But broadly speaking, how does uh, California prenup differ from other states? Right. So really, the main statute that um, appears in almost every state is that you both have to have uh, competent, separate counsel. You have to make sure that there was full and fair disclosure for both clients of all the assets and income and liabilities. And number three, and most importantly, um, that the agreement is fair and not unconscionable. If Katie Holmes is going to say and make this argument in New York that this agreement is unfair, that she's only get perhaps a couple million dollars when he's worth $250 million, that may be a basis to set aside part of the agreement or the entire agreement. So we're really going to have to see the details of the prenuptial agreement to make that, that call, but it could be something she's looking to do. And, you know, they don't disclose those prenups, so they don't get public. But let me ask you this. Um, let's say there's, th there's a prenup, but you're not really sure. It's unclear who gets what. Katie Holmes has some money. Um, Tom Cruise obviously has a lot. What happens then? Like, does, does she get actually child support, for example, for Surrey if she gets sole custody, even if she has enough to support Surrey? Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. If there's a lifestyle created because Tom Cruise is the breadwinner, apparently Katie's not earning any additional income right now, he's going to be responsible to support the, the lifestyle that he created during this uh, five-year marriage, five, almost six-year marriage. And let me tell you, Sori has a pretty amazing lifestyle. I don't think I've ever seen her in the same outfit. So he's going to be paying a lot of money. And even though Katie has her, her money set aside, child support is always about the party's income and uh, earning assets and what actually the expenses are. So it looks like Tom's probably going to be uh, forking over a hefty sum for a monthly child support award to Katie Holmes. Mm -hmm. And Vicky, when it comes to celebrities and divorce, I mean, all, all divorces are, are difficult to, to go through, but obviously with celebrities, that's magnified because of their fame and fortune. When you look at this unique case of Katie Holmes and Tom Cruise, are there obvious obstacles, sticking points that you see just, you know, even without knowing the finer, finer details? What stands out for you? Yeah, I think the religious aspect, the Scientology is going to become a huge part. Obviously, there's a huge age difference, so that's going to be something. And we're hearing that apparently uh, Katie Holmes wanted more children and Tom did not. So these are the things that if this becomes an acrimonious divorce, which everyone is reporting that it's going to be if she's looking for sole custody, I think those are the three real hot-button topics that we're going to be hearing about a lot. And we hope, uh, unfortunately, that they can amicably resolve their divorce and do it behind closed doors. But as it's being reported now, it looks like it's going to be pretty explosive. Wow. Mm. You know, I wish them the best. You know, I really wish Surrey Cruz the best in all of this mm -hmm. because, as you and I know, and we all know, you know, divorces take such a toll on the children. So I hope they can resolve their differences with minimal damage to her, keeping her first in all of this. Vicki, thank you Vicky, so much. Thank you. Thank you both. All right, folks, you know, we've all 